minimum phase system the value of phase see h of e power j omega is written as in z domain as h of z h of z inverse your cos omega is nothing but z plus z inverse by 2 that is h of z h of z inverse is equal to 5 by 4 1 by 2 z in z minus 1 by 2 z inverse so which is written as right to z so if we do this one z inverse to z and plus 1 by 4 that is 5 by 4 so by so if we account to the minimum phase system all the poles are zeros whatever it may be they should lie inside the unit circle so that is possible only for this one so h of z must be 1 by 2 z in 1 minus 1 by 2 z in that is option d is system shown in figure given below is to be protected by overcurrent system of protection okay at which location the non-directional overcurrent relays are required for proper fault discrimination okay this is a circuit he has given now at which location we have to place this non-directional overcurrent relays there are two types of relays in directional relays and over di non-directional overcurrent relays Okay, non-directional overcurrent relays, these are placed at source end or you can say at generating side. Okay, whereas directional overcurrent relays are placed at load side. Okay, here we have seen that there are two supplies. Okay, then let's say this supply 2 and supply 1 and we have only one load. Okay, directional relays are placed at this load end. Okay, that is at 5 whereas the non-directional relays placed at source end that is at generating side that means at 1 and 4 so option A is the correct answer the system has a body plot with a constant slope of minus 60 db per decade for all frequencies what is the phase margin for the system ok phase margin is given as 180 plus angle of the system ok G of S and H of S. He has given it is having a constant slope of minus 60 dB per decade. Okay. Now minus 60 dB per decade means okay, since we are having minus sign, that means we have poles. Okay, 60 dB per decade means number of poles is equal to 3 because each pole has minus 20 dB per decade. Okay, if you have three poles at origin what does it mean that it is having the function 1 by s cube okay that means minus 3 times of tan inverse of s okay now what is the phase margin here at gain crossover frequency we have phase margin so this is minus 270 plus 180 or you can say the 180 minus 270 okay minus 90 degrees is the answer that is option if a 220 kilo MVA 11 by 400 kilowatt CFS power transformer has leakage reactance of 0.05 per unit. Okay, suppose let us take it as it has given in terms of reactance. Okay, so X per unit is equal to for a transformer 0.05, which is equal to what is the formula X actual into base MVA by base KV whole square. Okay base kv whole square now what is x actual in the primary side x actual primary side is equal to 0 0.05 into what is the base kva he has taken at 11 kilovolt side ok 11 kilovolt by transformer is having 250 mva as base value ok so this is the value of actual reactance on primary side in ohms what he has 
if it is referred on the secondary side that is on 400 kilovolt side what is its leakage reactance so x actual on secondary side is equal to x actual on primary side into what is this one transformation ratio whole square what is the transformation ratio k here 400 by 11 whole square when secondary is referred to primary side so this is equal to 0.05 into 11 square divided by 250 into 400 by 11 whole square so this is equal to 32 ohms option d is the correct answer of the medium given h is equals to 5 cos of 10 power 90 minus 4y here omega is 10 power 9 and the beta is 4 v is nothing but omega by beta that is 0.25 into 10 power 9 that is 2.5 into 10 power 9 meters per second so Here C by root epsilon R is 2.5 into 10 power 9, 2 10 8. So root epsilon R is 3 by 2.5, that is 30 by 25, which is equals to. So oh, this is 1.2. Epsilon R is 1.2 whole square, which is 1.4. That is option C is correct. A 400 volts 10 HP 7.46 kilowatt three-phase synchronous motor has negligible armature resistance and synchronous reactance of 10 ohms per phase. Okay, that means that is equal to or that is is equal to zero plus J times of 10 ohms per phase he has given. What is the minimum current at full load condition? Okay, assume efficiency of 85 percent. Now current I is equal to Okay, this is given as power in kilowatt divided by root three times of V L cos phi. Okay, this is equal to what is the power? Input power is equal to output power by efficiency. Okay, so what is the output power? We have ten seven point four six into ten power three or ten H P machine with a Efficiency of zero point eight five, so this is equal to eight seven seven six watt. So this is eight seven seven six divided by root three into V L is four hundred. When the minimum value of current will be available, when we have maximum law of factor that is equal to one. So minimum value of current is twelve point six seven amperes, which is equal to option D. Okay. Now, at the same condition, what is the EMF induced in the motor? EMF induced in the motor E is given as okay in synchronous machine. This is V T cos phi plus I A R A whole square plus V T sine phi plus I A X S whole square. Okay, this is the EMF induced in the synchronous motor. Okay, now what is the condition? Cos phi is equal to one. That means minimum value at minimum value of current we have to find the EMF induced. Okay, I A is equal to 12.67 amperes. R A is given as zero. X S is given as 10 ohms. We have plus sign is taken for lagging type of loads. Minus sign is taken for leading loads. Since he has given lagging loads, we have to take positive sign. V T is equal to Okay, this is given as line voltage as 400. So 400 by root three, this is 230.94 volts. So EMF induced is square root of 230.94 into cos phi is one plus I A R A is zero whole square plus 230.94 into sine phi is zero plus 12.67 into I A X S is 10 ohms whole square. Okay. So this is equal to 230.94 whole square. 12.67 is 126.7 whole square. So this is equal to this is <coughs> equal to 263.4 volts. Option A is the correct answer.